What you rocking them tune cheese? Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's uh, your boy Celestino up in here. Attention, 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 attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we get started, morning, please be sure that these are expensive headphones. You either don't like Beats Pros or you know what the heck you're doing. If so, continue. Doing that Beats by Dre Wire mod. And um, yes, yeah, so you can see I have parts of it dangling. Uh, the previous video I showed most of the disassembly to it. And what I took is the old wire that was inside of the Beats by Dre and I used it to actually dangle the the earpieces right here so I could spray them nice and evenly. They're on their fourth coat and um, I've just been spraying them little by little, not soaking them until they're all drippy or anything. You don't want to do that. You want to do light coats, as many coats as you can um, with whatever color you want. So we'll get a couple of coats going on this and then I'll come back again and continue to show what's the progress. Also, if you see the pieces in the bottom there, they sh they're, they should be on their six coat, six coat, um, or nine coats. I don't I don't remember, but but I just want to make sure that I have that glossy finish, that tunchy look. They're drying up. They look pretty efficient, Looking nice and glossy. Still waiting for them to dry out. I have a light pointed to them that produces an insane amount of heat, so it helps with the drying and baking process. See, that's what you want to look at, making sure that uh, they dry perfectly so that way they don't flake. But here they are, all uh, colored and still with a ton of pieces. And you can see that the wire, well, let me zoom in on the, the actual job here. You can see that they still look pretty official. They look really good. And the wire, the official wire mod wire there, looking nice and thick. Uh, make sure you don't go too thick because then it won't fit in the grooves. Another thing, um, make sure you allow ample time to dry so that way when you're putting them together and you're clanking them and all that stuff, they're not going to chip on you. So make sure they're nice and dry. All right, so dry. now as far as putting them back together, you might want to get a couple things. Uh, first off is uh, an adhesive to uh, just kind of make sure that uh, that sticky part where we used the heat gun in the previous video, if you haven't checked that out, um, add a little more to it so that way it sticks right back on to the aluminum housing of the Beast by Dre Pro. You want you don't want to overdo it with the glue. You just want a little a couple dabs to make sure that it sticks there. And um, uh, you choose the glue. I'm not going to tell you which glue to choose. I just chose a regular. Sure adhesive. that um, um, you have everything you need prior to you know making sure you start putting these together. Um, the solder gun, um, tweezers all those things that are needed. All right, take your time soldering any of the pieces together and make sure you made a little like a um, chart on which wire was where, making sure it's the left and the right ear cup. Because if you don't, you're gonna have a great time figuring that out. And plus, you don't wanna apply too much heat onto your drivers of the headphones because it will actually melt the driver of the headphones and you won't be able to hear squat. What? Basically, how that's how you would destroy a pair of Beats Pros. So make sure you use as least amount of heat when soldering the headphones together. Putting them back together is uh, it's painstaking. You got to make sure you, you knew how you took them apart. Um, the ear cup and the ear frame, they kind of go on together. With the plastic piece you hold the plastic piece in inside of the ear frame and then you put the ear cup around the plastic piece holding them all together so that way you don't scrape anything and as you uh, gently put them together they will fit just how they're supposed to fit and after all is said and done this is the final product you have a pair of tune cheese made from the old school beats by dre Thanks for watching.